everyone. Welcome to story time. Torrance says hi too. Uh, today it's another lovely rainy day. It's so rainy. I hope you can hear it. I hope that the sound of the rain falling is coming through because it is very soothing and it is a perfect day to stay inside and read a book. So Torrance and I have picked out for today. I picked this one out because he got to choose last time and he was really excited for it and then it kind of wasn't that exciting. So I took the liberty of picking this time. Our book is Hawk Rising by Maria Gianferrari. Pictures by Brian Floca. And we can see there's the cover. Hawk Rising. So we know we're about to dip into this little neighborhood with a light on on the porch. Father Hawk stretches his wide wings. Oh my gosh, how far can you stretch your wide wings? Oh, I, can, I can go pretty far. It doesn't even fit in the camera. Oh, let's do Torrance. Torrance? Torrance says, oh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good, Torrance. That's pretty good. I'm into it. So Father Hawk stretches his wide wings. Oh, you stretch your arms and Mars, like we learned about last week, rises red in the sky. High in a backyard cedar, that's a type of tree, they sit. High from the window you watch. Well, who is they? Who's sitting in the tree? Chicks jostle, screech, beaks open wide, waiting for breakfast. God, this must be they. Look, we've got the mama hawk and the baby chicks. Baby chicks. Mother hawk stays. Father hawk perch hunts from a pole, silhouetted as sunbeams scratch the sky. Red streaks spread, black talons, those are like his claws, curving onto wood. Hooked beak, remember this part, sharp as a knife. Head turning, eyes searching, chicks waiting. So what do we think the chicks are waiting for? What is he going to hunt? Oh, you noticing. So see, oh, so like you could go out if you have a pair of binoculars, which are great. You could go out and kind of watch what the birds in your neighborhood are doing. Or if you don't have binoculars, you could use your phone and zoom in. Here's what she sees. She sees sunbathing, warming father hawk's outstretched wings. So he likes to sunbathe just like humans, like when you go to the beach or a lake or like a river to swim and lay in the sun. Drying drops of dew, little drops of water from the pole, his sharp eyes spy a chipmunk. Might be trouble for this chipmunk. He dives feet first, wings arced. Arc is like a shape like this, so wings arced means his wings are curved. And we can see that making a little arc. Fast to the grass, <gasps> but Chipmunk scuttles under the neighbor's porch. Oh, okay, so that was nerve-wracking. I know, I know. I, I, was, I was really rooting for the Chipmunk as well. Father Hawk shakes his wings and springs into the sky. Kier, kier! I don't know if that's what a hawk sounds like. That's what it says on the page. Feel free to look up on Google what a hawk sounds like. Uh, kier, kier, he calls, circling, seeking prey. He rides the wind like a wave, twisting and turning, kiting and floating. Look at him so high up in the air. Chicks waiting. Those chicks are still hungry. You watching. So look, she's getting to see all this like in real time, in real life with her binoculars. Ugh, I think that's way cool. Uh-oh. Caw, caw, caw. Crows charge and chase, darting and diving, driving Father Hawk from their roost. So these crows come along. They're kicking him out. He sails on the current far from the crows and alights on a limb to perch hunt again. Okay, so he got away. He found his own thing. 
So the chipmunk's not the only one getting chased. Now Father Hawk is getting chased in return. Father Hawk's eyes sweep the lawn. Back and forth they scan, greening grass for prey. Sparrows sit and flit in bushes. <gasps> so even little other littler birds he's going to go after. He leans, then dives. Crashing, talons thrashing in branches. Once, twice, then again and again. <gasps> Look at him just diving. Imagine how scary. But shielded by bramble. Bramble is like, you know, the little bits of shrubs and twigs, sticks, leaves, stuff like that on the ground. Sparrows are safe. Oh, so he didn't get them either. Okay. But the chicks are hungry and they eat meat. Father Hawk takes to the sky, riding and gliding. There he goes. Shadows casting, chicks waiting, you wondering. Yeah, she's wondering what's going to happen. Is he going to eat? Father Hawk lands on a light pole. Dandelions ripple. Oaks, it's a type of tree, tremble. Like that. Father Hawk perches and searches. Sun sinking. Daylight blinking. Chicks waiting. You fading. Yeah, it's, you know, sun's going down. It's sleepy time. Father Hawk spots a squirrel scurrying towards a tree. He parachutes, legs tipping, talons gripping. Bad news. And grabbing. So he got the squirrel. Father Hawk flies in the navy blue sky. And there the sisters are watching him. Back in the nest he lands. Chicks screech and jostle, beaks wide open, no longer waiting. You yawning. So it's kind of exhausting to watch that. But that's what him and his kiddos eat. They eat squirrel. Through the night, safe in your nests, you and the hawk family sleep. Until Mars, there's Mars again, rises red in the sky again. So I think that's really interesting to picture yourself looking out the window with binoculars. What would you see? I wonder what you would see if you did that. What would you see, Torrance? Yeah, he said he would see the trees and how everything's wet because it's raining here. Well, I hope you enjoyed the story time. That was Hawk Rising by Maria Gianferrari with pictures by Brian Floca. We really liked it. It was a nice read for a rainy day. Yeah? Yeah. He agrees. Yeah. Okay. Till next time. Bye.